G'day guys, Butcher Jerd here, and today we are boning a bit of chalk. So, Chicken Maryland's everyone's least favourite, my favourite, but overall they're just not a big seller. So we're going to turn them into something different. So we're going to take them off. Firstly, we mark down each side, we flip it over, and we break its hip. Bam! Just like that. All right, you can see that muscle structure. So we're just following that along, tracing it around with our knife. Pretty easy. Once we've broken the joint, it's relatively really simple. So you come down along, scooping that oyster meat out. And just following along the tailbone there. Bang. Easy as. Look at that. Cool. From there, we take the bone out. So, what I like to do is I start on the inside of the thigh, going down towards the drumstick. I try, when I hit the middle, I try to level out a little bit, just so I don't leave the um, that cartilage and the bone of that like elbow joint thing, knee bone, that's what it is, I suppose, in the meat. I'd rather just go a little bit wide and leave some meat on the bone. So, same thing here around the inside then knock the top so we're exposing all the bone structure so we can see what we're doing and go up and underneath off to that knee there we go so we leave it a bit wide there because i don't want that bone in the meat and that's it so these are called our satay philly bombs pretty simple philly cheese or cream cheese streaky bacon beautiful you wrap them up we put them in a sauté glaze, which turns into like a wet sauce in about probably about 20 minutes. So you can use a wet sauce at home if you want or well, whatever flavour really, whatever you've got going, you know, make something different. doesn't worry us. But yeah, pretty simple. We use chicken loops to tie them off and you bake them in the oven about 25 minutes on 180, about 72 Celsius internal. That's sort of when I pull them out, let them rest for a little bit. And that's it. They are awesome. They're a big hit in my house. They're a massive seller. It's quick work, you know. For a cut that not many people want, you can really put a lot of stuff in it, you know. Like, you could do this with literally anything. you got some leftover veggies or whatever, like, you know, got some roast pumpkin from the other night, chuck that in there and whatever, anything. It doesn't have to be streaky bacon and Philly cheese. But that's it. That's the product. It's really cool. But, um, yes. So we're back. And I am going to be here for the next, what, two weeks, three weeks. I'll try to smash out as many videos as I can. Try to do one a day. And try to have some in the chamber, I suppose, because I'm going away up to Harvey Bay for three weeks, I think. So we've got someone sitting in the house, and then we're just off, go see the missus' parents. But, um, yeah, while I'm gone, I'll try to keep the content up. And then once I'm back, I want to slam it. Like, I just want to do a lot of social media this year. So, you know, any ideas, drop them down below. I'll do whatever. Pretty keen. Pretty keen to get into it. There's our Philly Glaze. Have a look at that. The color of that is awesome. Really cool. So I'll film some more apprentice work. I'll do anything, really. So we're going to break down heaps of stuff and just go from the get-go all the way. I'm working with some local chefs, and we'll start doing the cooking side of things too a bit more, just to give you the full paddock-to-plate thing. But anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one.